In the previous demos, we combined soluble proteins with membrane-like materials and membrane proteins. The same approach allows us to combine free-floating nanomaterials and small molecules. However, if you try the approach shown previously with small molecules in high concentration, you may find that it is very difficult and time-consuming to pack non-water solvent molecules at realistic concentrations. To facilitate building non-water and mixed solvent systems, Multi-Component Assembler uses three different packing strategies. For small molecules in low concentrations, generally below 10% volume fraction, you can simply keep the default solvated component type, and multi-component assembler will pack the small molecules at the same time as the other large molecules, like proteins. For small charged molecules, you can choose the ion component type. These molecules are packed with other ions like potassium chloride, after larger components are already placed, but before water and other solvents are added. Because multi-component assembler uses the same procedure for placing custom ions as with default ions, you can choose the Monte Carlo method for ion placement to find initial positions with more favorable energy. For small uncharged molecules in high concentration, you can choose the solvent component type. This uses a faster packing method that packs a small box of solvents separately from other components, then copies the coordinates up to the target box size and deletes any solvents that collide with other components. While faster, this method often results in a lower number of final molecules than what was estimated during solvent setup. Note that both ion and solvent component types expect the uploaded molecule to contain no more than one residue. In this demo, we'll create three systems. First, a protein system solvated with water, ethanol, and ATP. Second, a membrane-only system solvated with water and ethanol. And finally, a polymer system with gaseous carbon dioxide. For the first system, we will need to obtain CHARM PSF and CRD files for ethanol. One way to do this is with ligand reader and modeler. Please watch the video demos for ligand reader and modeler if you do not already know how to use it. To begin, go to ligand reader and modeler and draw ethanol. Make sure that all hydrogen atoms are shown. Alternatively, you can enter the RCSB ligand ID EOH. After clicking next, we are shown a list of matches for ethanol, including some molecules with different protonation states. For this demo, we will use the ETOH residue from the CHARM general force field and click Next. Download the ethanol project files and rename the PSF and CRD files to something more descriptive. For ATP, we will again go to Ligand Reader and Modeler. This time, enter the ligand ID ATP. The structure shown here is for neutral ATP, although the most common form has a net charge of minus 4. After we click Next, Ligand Reader shows that the minus 4 form of ATP is already in the charm force field. We could choose to parameterize this neutral ATP, but for this demo, we will use the one from the charm force field. Again, download the project files and rename the PSF and CRD files to something descriptive. Finally, we will take the structure and coordinate files from each of our components and upload them to Multi-Component Assembler. For this demo, we will use the protein 3GB1, which has a net charge of minus 4. If we have a small number of ethanol and ATP molecules, we can simply enter the desired number of each molecule on this page. However, small molecules present in volume fractions larger than 10 or 20 percent can greatly prolong the packing step. For best results, and to achieve solvent volume fractions greater than 20%, change the component type to solvent. Since ATP is a charged molecule, the solvent option is replaced with an ion option. In this demo, we only want to place three ATP molecules, but we want to use the Monte Carlo method to place them, which is only available for ions. So we set the component type to ion. We will choose box dimensions that create a 5% protein volume fraction close to 80 angstroms. Click Next to pack the protein components. On the Solvent Options page, we see that ethanol has been added to the solvent table, but ATP has not. However, if we open the Anion menu, we see that a new category has been added for User Uploaded Anions. This is because ATP is negatively charged. For positively charged uploaded ions, check for a User Uploaded category in the Cation menu. For this demo, we will keep the default potassium chloride ions and add ATP with magnesium counterion. To add a new ionic compound containing ATP, activate the More Ion Type submenu, open the Anion menu, then select User Uploaded and ATP. 
For the magnesium counterion, open this compound's cation menu, then select alkaline earth metals and magnesium. Finally, click add this ion to add this compound to the ions table. Magnesium ATP appears as an option in the ions table, and both magnesium 2 plus and ATP 4 minus appear as components in the solvent table. Finally, we will set the molar concentration of magnesium ATP to 0.01. There are two methods available to specify the amount of ethanol to place in the system, volume ratio plus density and concentration. If we know the desired molar concentration of ethanol, this is the simplest method to use. However, you might instead know the volume ratio of your solvent with respect to other solvents. For this case, we must enter the density of pure ethanol at the temperature that we want to simulate. You can often look up this value online, although the density might not be known at the specific temperature of your simulation. One approach would be to perform a small simulation of the pure mixed solvent without protein and use the resulting data to determine the target concentration or density. But in this case, we will use the value estimated by the Dortmund data bank for 310.15 Kelvin. Pay close attention to the required units of grams per liter. This is equivalent to the value in kilograms per cubic meter, or 1,000 times the value in grams per cubic centimeter. Enter 771.814 grams per liter as the density. For this demo, we want a volume ratio of 1 ethanol to 9 water. After clicking the Calculate Solvent Composition button, please note that the estimated number of generated ethanol molecules assumes that this is a solvent-only system without ions. Due to the stochastic nature of the solvent placing process, it is hard to predict the exact number of molecules that will remain after removing colliding solvent molecules. If you instead need an exact number of molecules, you should either return to Step 1 and use the solvated component type, or increase the solvent density and manually delete any extra solvent molecules. For our purpose, we do not need an exact count of ethanol, so we will click Next to generate the solvent. When solvent building is complete, click View Structure to see how the solvent molecules were placed. Note that the ethanol and water are roughly evenly mixed. This is because Multi-Component Assembler assumes a well-mixed solution. If your uploaded solvent is not actually water-soluble, do not be surprised if they move drastically during the early stages of your simulation. The remaining steps are the same as with previous demos. Next we will create a membrane system with water and ethanol solvents and without any proteins. To begin, drag the PSF and CRD files for ethanol into the upload form and click Next. When all uploaded component types are marked as solvent, there is nothing to calculate since the system size is set directly. To continue with a solvent-only system, you can click Next now, but in this demo, we will also add a membrane. To generate a membrane in a multi-component system that does not have any membrane proteins, click the Generate a Membrane option. Multi-component assembler then uses the Box XY length option to set the X and Y length, and the Water Thickness option to set the Z length. As with other multi-component assembler systems, the water thickness refers to the thickness of water to add above a 40 angstrom inner membrane region on each side of the leaflet so a 50 angstrom water thickness will result in a box size of 50 by 50 by 140 cubic angstroms. We will instead use a 40 angstrom water thickness to create a 50 by 50 by 120 cubic angstrom box, and click Next to go to the lipid selection page. Since Multi-Component Assembler has not done any packing yet, there are no PDB files to view. We will create a pure DOPC bilayer for this demo. Click Next to begin packing lipids. After packing, we choose an ion composition. In this demo, we will use an equal proportion of potassium chloride and magnesium chloride ions. Because these ionic compounds are used very frequently, you can select them from the Simple Ion Types menu. Select the compound that you want to add, and click Add Simple Ion Type. After setting the concentration, click Calculate Solvent Composition to estimate the number of generated ions, and click Next to begin lipid replacement. After lipids are placed, you can choose an amount of ethanol. The procedure is the same as before, except that we do not see any options for ions because we already chose an ion composition. We can use the volume ratio and density options to estimate the number of solvent molecules to generate, but if we instead know the target concentration, it will be easier to use the concentration option. When switching to the concentration solvent option, Multi-Component Assembler provides initial values for concentration that assume equal volume ratios between all solvents. When we adjust the ethanol concentration, water concentration is adjusted automatically to fill or clear space as needed for the non-water solvents. However, if we happen to know that we need a different water concentration, we can disable this feature by unchecking the option. 
Similarly, if we want to create a solvent without any water, we can simply remove water by unchecking the include water checkbox. For this demo, we will use an 8 molar ethanol concentration with the remaining space occupied by water. Click Calculate Solvent Composition, then Next to build the mixed solvent. When it finishes, remember to click View Structure to verify that the solvent packing result is reasonable. Again, notice that the ethanol is evenly distributed within the solvent region. For the final system, we will build a sheet-like polymer in a gaseous environment containing pure carbon dioxide. To begin, go to Ligand Reader and Modeler, enter Ligand ID CO2, and click Next. Ligand Reader warns us that our structure contains no hydrogen. However, we know that this is correct, so we click OK. CO2 is already present in the Charm Force field, so we select Residue CO2 and click Next to generate the PSF and CRD files. The polymer that we will use is polyethylene terephthalate, or PET. To build it, go to Polymer Builder and select the Melt System Type. Then in the Polymer Chain Options, select Esters and Polyethylene Terephthalate. Set the monomer count to 95 and click Next to build the polymer chain. To create a 120 angstrom thick sheet of PET, change the box type to tetragonal and the length of X and Y to 108.4 angstroms and the length of Z to 120 angstroms. We want a large vacuum on either side of the sheet, so check the Vacuum Layer option and set the vacuum Z length to 110 angstroms. After clicking the Show System Size Info button, Polymer Builder estimates 40 chains of PET. Click Next to build the Polymer Builder coarse grain model. On the next page, Polymer Builder estimates that 140 nanoseconds of CG simulation will be necessary to equilibrate the polymer. We will click Next to begin. For a system of this size, it will take about 10 minutes to finish equilibration of the coarse grain model. Next, we will need to replace the coarse grain model with an all atom model. At this stage, we can download the polymer files to obtain the PSF and CRD files. We also need the Step 2.3 replacement file for the exact polymer dimensions. To combine PET with CO2, go to Multi-Component Assembler, drag the PSF and CRD files for PET and CO2 into the upload form, and click Next. Since we are treating PET as an infinite sheet, select the XY periodic type for PET, and copy the polymer dimensions. Although we are not using a water solvent, we still need to set a water thickness to determine how much space will be available for CO2. In this demo, we keep the default water thickness of 50 angstroms to make a final Z dimension of 220 angstroms. Click Next to go to the Solvent Options page. To build a gaseous system containing pure CO2, deselect water and ion generation, and enter a density for CO2 at the desired temperature. We will conduct this simulation at 20 degrees Celsius and 1 atmosphere of pressure. The density of CO2 gas at this temperature is about 1.98 grams per liter. Click Next to position the CO2 molecules. When system assembly is complete, check the output visually to ensure that the number of generated molecules is what you expected. Finally, select your input programs and temperature. 